What's going on guys? This is Chandler Smith and I am so excited about this video today because whether you are a brand new real estate investor or an experienced real estate investor, I think this will be the best video that I ever do. And the reason for that is I'm gonna be talking about the best deal I ever landed on a 24plex that I only paid $1.2 million for. On top of that, I'm gonna show you how I was able to find the deal, how I was able to push it through when things got a little sketchy, and then how I was able to add huge value to this deal, to where the cash flow on it is extraordinary to a point that I never thought was even possible. And I'm hoping by going through this step-by-step -step process of this deal that it will help you to be able to one day land a deal just like it. So with all of that being said, let's jump into it. Now, I was probably a little over the top in my introduction, but I'm telling you, I am so excited about this deal because it's been a game changer for me and my investing career. And so I'm just gonna give you the play-by-play -play of how I was able to land it and how it has been so huge for me in literally every department when it comes to cash flow, when it comes to value add, when it comes to appreciation, all of these things I've been able to acquire a ton more or add on a ton more to my net worth because of this one property purchase. And so I'm gonna show you how we were able to put it together. Now, first off, this is a picture of the property. And I love this property because it has been so good to me. And that doesn't mean we didn't have a lot of bumps along the way, but man, has it been an incredible land. And the way that I was able to find it is I had put out a ton of fillers with a bunch of different realtors, with a bunch of different wholesalers, and everyone knew that I was the kind of buyer that if the right deal came, I was going to buy it from them. And so I had a realtor that's actually one of my really good friends, and he brought this deal to me and he said, Chandler, here's the situation. This is an older gentleman. He doesn't wanna list it. He doesn't really wanna have it up and have the world know. He wants to really take care of his tenants and not have it be a sketchy or a hard transition, but he really wants to sell it and he wants to be in a place where he can finance the property. And so immediately my ears perk up. I am just super excited about this deal. I go on to learn that he wants to speak with me personally. He wants to show me the property, show me all the work that he's done to it, really take pride in it, and just give me the whole rundown on the property. So I go over and this property is incredible. I mean, it's six fourplexes. He takes me through each of the units. He has kept them pristine. I mean, literally took care of all the flooring. He's made sure to repaint it. He just put in all new heaters in every one of the places. So they were actually these, and I'd never seen these before. Usually you have cadets, but he had this radiant heat that he put in all of the units that's gonna last for a long time. He was also in the process of replacing all of the water heaters. And so this man's goal was to turn this property over just in perfect condition. On top of that, he had tenants that had been there forever and he had a personal connection with all of these tenants, but immediately the second I met the first tenant and he told me what the rents were, I was flabbergasted. I was blown away because he had the rents at anywhere between $400 and $460 on every one of these units, all 24 units. On top of that, he used to have a daycare, and I'll put a video up here, but this daycare was completely destroyed. It was run down, he was using it for storage, and it was sitting there vacant. And so when he thought about selling this property, he wanted to get all of the units up to standard and really make sure that they were well taken care of, but the daycare he kind of just viewed as a loss, something that was gonna sit there that could be used for storage, but didn't have a ton of value. So after walking through all of these properties with him, I was just in love. But obviously I needed to make sure the numbers were gonna work. And so we got talking about purchase price and he said, well, this is what the rents are at. And I think with the rents being there, that I want even a little more because I've really taken care of these properties. I think they're in a good place. I wanna sell this property for $1.2 million. So I'm running the numbers in my head and I'm thinking, all right, he's probably bringing in around $10,000, maybe a little over $10,000 a month in rents, but he wants $1.2 million for this property. So right away, I'm not meeting the 1% rule. I check into the taxes, I check into the utilities, I'm looking at everything and I'm like, well, that isn't a great deal for what he currently has and where he's renting these. But I know this market and I know minimum 
these units should be renting for 550 and probably should be renting for 600. So I run home, I plug in the numbers to my calculator, I tell him, look, I'm very interested. I think I wanna do it at that price. Can I just do my due diligence? But can we put this deal together and plan on me? I think you can count on me. I'll give you a for sure answer tonight. So I run home, I grab my computer, I pull it up, and I pull up the spreadsheet that I use for everything. And if you guys wanna use this spreadsheet, you can go to chandlerdavidsmith.com and I'll give you the spreadsheet for free. You just go on, download it, and you can see exactly how I ran these numbers. But I plug it in and at his rents, it came in to $10,800 or right around that range. And that was fudging some of the lower rents because he's like, well, you could probably bump them to where everyone else is at. So I'm looking somewhere between 10,000 and $10,800. Now I plug this into my computer with the expenses, with taxes, with everything else, and I'm getting a cash on cash return of 4.78%. Now I know a lot of you are saying, Chandler, that's a bad return, you shouldn't buy that, you said you'll never buy at those numbers, but here's the deal, I knew in this area, I knew this area well, I knew there was a huge demand for one bedroom apartments that were cheaper, especially ones that were in this nice of shape, and I knew minimum, I could run this property at $550 per unit. So easily over 100, 100 plus per unit. And honestly, I was thinking I could get it up to 600 plus if I did things right in the current market. So now I plugged in $550 on 24 units and my cash and cash return exploded. I was running it with these numbers, with normal expenses, taxes, everything, and I was now looking at a 13.57% cash on cash return. Now in my mind, I was saying, well, but where he's got rents, I think I should be able to bump him on the purchase price. But I had to remember a lesson I learned a couple of years before where I had a similar property that was an awesome deal and I tried to bump the price and I actually offended the seller and so I lost out on the situation. And so I called him up and I said, look, what are the terms? I know you wanna finance it. He said, well, here's the deal, I'll finance it at a 5% fixed for 20 years. And my jaw just dropped. Because at this point, commercial lending was going on 20 year terms in my area, but the rates changed every five years and my rates would have been over 6% when I purchased this property. So I tried to not sound giddy on the phone and I said, look, let's do this thing. I'm ready to go, I'm 100% in. Obviously, I'd still like to do some due diligence, do an inspection, but I'm not gonna back out, I'm 100% in. Let's get the purchase and sell agreement done today. Now, the thing that I haven't even mentioned that I was thinking about as well is I have this whole daycare that's easy pushing 3,000 square feet and maybe even more than that. I know I've got a ton of space in this daycare and it's just a throw-in in the deal. And so I am just ecstatic. Now, towards the end, things got a little hairy with this guy. He actually turned out to be a little more sketch than I thought. He wasn't quite as nice as I originally had found, but he did a great job putting in the water heaters and everything else. We just had a little skiff because I didn't feel like he'd been completely honest with me about a cable bill that I got stuck with that was still there for another year, which it stunk, but it wasn't gonna blow up the deal. And so we had a little back and forth about that, but at the end of the deal, we closed at $1.2 million with 20% down on a 5% fixed rate for 20 years, and I was just floored. I was so pumped on this property. So now I've landed this huge deal but now we get into the fun part. With this property, I immediately got my management company to work and we started bumping rents. Now the tenants were super happy. Most of them were really good tenants, but the reality is in this area, you couldn't find anything of this quality for less than $600 a month. And so we went in and made sure the lawn was pristine. We made sure we fixed up anything that needed to be fixed up. But overall, it was just time for a rent increase. So over that first year, we did slow rent increases with people as their lease came to an end. And overall, no one had complaints because they loved the property and they understood it because a lot of them had been paying the same thing for years. So within one year, we had almost all of the rents bumped to $600 plus per unit. And I know that sounds crazy, but that's where we're at. So I'm just gonna plug those in. And what happened is by plugging in 600 plus on these units. I just get giddy looking at this, but that jumped our cash on cash return for that down payment up to a 17.97%. So now I am just rolling in it 
on this property. I'm ecstatic, I'm so excited. And just to give you an idea on cash flow on that property, this property was now bringing in $43,000 a year in cash flow. So that's not even taking into consideration the fact that it was on a 20 year loan. So I'm paying a lot more principal down a lot quicker than on a 30 year loan. My rates can't change, so that's gonna stay the same and be an awesome situation. I also have added a ton of value by increasing the rents. So the property not only is appreciated over time, but it has gone up in value a ton because of where I've now got the rents. To where if I wanted to resell this, I could make hundreds of thousands of dollars. And to top it all off, I have this daycare that I start looking into and I figure out that we can totally strip it down and turn it into three more apartments right there next to the 24 plex and it's only gonna cost me somewhere around $50,000 to renovate it and turn this into three more apartments that that $50,000 investment is now going to give me an extra $2,200 in rent every month. Just to give you an idea after expenses and everything, that was gonna be over $20,000 a year in cash flow after my expenses management and everything else. And it doesn't change my loan payment because it was just $50,000 in and then a huge return on the back end. So I'm looking at this and by plugging those numbers in, it would jump me up to a 21.55% cash on cash return on this property. Now, I went in, I started on the renovation, I made a ton of mistakes, but I'm looking at this return saying, I can make all the mistakes that I want, because even if I do, my return is still gonna be astronomical. So I went in, I ended up finding out there were more permits, different inspections we needed to do, other things we needed to change, so my $50,000 renovation didn't really come to fruition. I actually ended up spending right around $70,000 after doing the tweaks and fixes with the city that we needed to, but we were then able to renovate the daycare into this. So we were literally able to add on these extra units, totally renovate the daycare, make that part of the street look way better, add $2,200 a month in rents, and put ourselves in this situation where the cash flow was just crazy on this property. And to top it all off, we made the property look a lot better because the daycare was just a total eyesore. So even though we had some back and forth with the city, they were pretty pumped. But even plugging it in at $70,000, my cash on cash return still is over 20% on this property. For those of you that are cap rate people, that means I was getting an 11.54% cap rate on this property after including my expenses in for the renovation. And so you can see why I was so ecstatic about sharing this deal with you because it now pays me $60,000 a year plus just in cash flow. And it was solely because I had put out feelers, I'd gotten a good connection, I found an awesome guy that was willing to do an owner finance, and then I found multiple opportunities to increase rents or add value to this property to where now it is my cash cow of all cash cows. Now, I really hope my enthusiasm for this deal doesn't come across as arrogance. It's just that I absolutely love this deal. And a lot of it was luck, a lot of it was the right place at the right time, a lot of it was that I put out a lot of feelers, I made sure that I had a lot of connections that knew I was willing to buy when a deal came in. And then most importantly, I think a lot of this deal came down to knowing my market. If I hadn't known the market and I had just looked at rents, I probably would have passed on this deal. But I knew I could increase rents. I knew that I could add value with that extra daycare. I knew that this was a huge opportunity. So even though when I bought it, the cash on cash return was crap, just one year later, I look back and I say, wow, this is the best investment that I have ever made. So as you jump into investing in real estate, or even if you've been doing it a while, find a way to add value to properties. Find a way to find a niche where you can increase rents or you can do renovations or you can do something so that when you find these deals, you can jump on them when no one else is and you're the first one to get dibs on them so that you can capitalize on creating a huge passive income for yourself. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please push the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments because on some of the other videos where I've gone through deals, I've had people say that, hey Chandler, we wanted to know more about the numbers of this deal. And so I'm gonna try and do that more and more, but I tried to break everything down in this deal. If there's anything I missed, 
let me know in the comments. And again, if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and make sure you check out my other videos because my goal is to help you to create a huge passive income for yourself. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day.